Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the peronials. Side of the calf real quick. Going from the TFL to the IT band, you're gonna finish off with the peronials. Not saying doing that the same day, but you'll notice it's kind of like the same pattern. So the IT band's right from here to here. The peronials are gonna be right from that fibula notch. The fibula is basically the side lower calf bone. You got the tibia right here on the shin. The fibula is the other bone right here. So right from that bony notch right there, you're gonna find that peroneal, and it's gonna go all the way down to that ankle. Softball, lacrosse ball, two inch PVC pipe I like, or a barbell works very well. The barbell, it's so bad. Lay on your side. Assume the position. You can, actually let me show you real quick. You actually don't have to lay on your side. You can actually lay like this, I've done this before. You can use softball in place of this, but I like using a lacrosse ball. Go side to side right under that fibula bone I just showed you, and you're just gonna push in five to 10 minutes. The entire calf, maybe two minutes each trigger point, deep to the bone. Remember, listen to your body, listen to the pain threshold. Don't go too much into it right away. Just try to allow your body to relax into it first. You'll feel the pain, it should be very tender, But um, just try to take your time at releasing this bad boy. I sometimes like to pull my ankle up a little bit and push into it at the same time. Because if you notice, this muscle connects to the ankle. What is that doing? Muscles pull, right? They shorten. So this is what's gonna create that fallen arch in that flat foot, right? Flat feet is that peroneal. That peroneal is really gonna influence that flat foot. So it's very important to attack this peroneal, especially if you're dealing with any kind of flat footed issues. Not just take an arch support and band-aid the problem like most people approach it like. So, but like I said, try to pull that big toe up and in, kind of like internally rotate that foot and push into it. And you'll feel it get exposed very deeply. Mm, man, it's a good one. I'm there, I'm gonna go a little bit lower. So I was at the very top. I'm gonna go about a couple inches down. Once again, explore, go at your own pace. Got a little mosquito right here. And then once again, find that dull, achy, tender spot. There it is, right there. Make sure you're not distracted like I am with all these freaking mosquitoes on me. It's supposed to be relaxing outside. <laughs> it is. But seriously, try to eliminate the distractions. The perennials aren't as bad as other parts that we've hit, but they are still very bad, especially with any muscle, you can make it worse so it's all about how much you're willing to put in this one uh like i said i like to bring that big toe up and out or up and in and then you can go to the back side of the peroneal as well that's fine as two but slowly work your way down go side to side oh yeah there's a good one right in the middle push down and i haven't even laid down like i said you can lay down on a PVC pipe like this. We're working all the way down the ankle, by the way. And you can actually prop yourself up. I honestly like doing it the way I did it just now, but this works too. And if you do it with the barbell, I think that's the most intense by far. You can roll towards your shin a little bit as you, if you want. I don't think we've really hit the tibialis anterior. That's the front of the shin as much as we should have. You can do that, definitely. Play around with it. The back side of the peroneal, the front side. You guys get the idea once again if that muscle is tight that's going to create that it's going to create i think it's eversion inversion whatever flat-footed issues so cave your feet in it's going to cause that to come out um i noticed a lot of people's honestly i think my left one's tighter but I think a lot of people's right ones are tighter because we're here when we're driving 
and we're pressing that calf in like that. We're pulling it up, and that perineal is just getting slammed. So make sure you hit that right one pretty hard. Time both of them, five to 10 minutes each. Go deep, you will definitely feel the pain on this one. All right, guys, see you soon.